My name is Leah Freed. I'm an organizer with the United Electrical Workers and the convention of 200 delegates of UE leaders from all over the country came to Chicago and convened to protest three of the world's biggest corporations and the biggest poverty creators in the world, GE, McDonald's, and Walmart. We're fighting for good jobs at living wages and an end to abuse of workers' rights. This way. purveyors, enemies of working people, we're here to call into account General Electric, McDonald's, and Walmart. Right now, we're at the scene of a cruel corporate crime. On the 24th floor are the offices of the General Electric Transportation Division. This is an outfit that collects record profits with one hand and threatens mass layoffs with the other. This is a company that is collecting 50% increases in their profits with one hand and cutting the wages of non-union workers by 50% with the other. Is that right? No! You know what we call that? We call that corporate greed. We have a message to bring today to General Electric, and we have some powerful help available to help us deliver that message. I'm going to begin by turning this megaphone over to the president of UE Local 506 in Erie, Pennsylvania, Scott Duke, uh, and he'll tell you a little more about why we're here and what we're going to do. Scott! Here it is! GE's finest imagination at work! There it is! We, we, UE owns this building. It's the blood, sweat, tears, and labor that pays for this building. Don't forget it, GE. Do not forget it. Do not. We are here, me and brother Wayne Burnett, to take these petitions up to the 24th floor and deliver these to corporate and let them know we are tired of being pushed around. We are tired of the jobs being sent away. Keep jobs in America. Keep jobs in Erie. Yeah. Who are we? So Wayne and Scott have headed in, and they'll come back and let us know how it goes after they've delivered the petition signatures.
Carol Mann. She works at McDonald's. Her family works there too. Her son. She says that um, she wants she wants equality, respect, and hours also, and to not to them for them not to change the schedule all the time. She wants Erika Gonzalez to be out of there. She's a manager. And also, and Cesar Gonzalez, too. She wants him out. Out of here. We're good. All right. All right, come on. Come on. and sisters right at the scene of the crime. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a red tape. We are here today in front of Walmart, yeah. who is leading the corporate battle to the race to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Shame. Shame! Shame on Walmart, right there. Shame right there. On Walmart. We're here with workers from the warehouse. We're here with Walmart associates. We're here with brothers and sisters all across the country to tell Walmart to respect their workers in the warehouse. Yeah! I want to bring up our brother who led the 21-day strike in uh, Elwood, our brother Mike Compton from the Warehouse Workers Organizing Committee. Hey, guys. So like Elsie said, you know, I was part of the 21-day strike in Elwood, Illinois, probably about 40 miles south of here. A small town, a lot of you probably haven't heard of it. Um, you know, it's, we, we got back from the strike successfully. We got back pay. We, we made some, you know, they made some improvements for us. But they have a long way to go. Um, not only in the warehouse, but in the stores and, you know, the garment factories in, in Cambodia and, and, you know, the, the factories in Bangladesh, um, you know, throughout their supply chain. They have got their own rules, standards for suppliers. And part of this letter is, is trying to force Walmart to uphold and to enforce their standard for suppliers. The, 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 their standard for suppliers is supposed to be visibly posted in, in all, their, all their stores and, and all, their, all the factories and any supplier. I've been in, I've worked for one of them. I've never seen it. And I've seen most of the rules on their own rules broken. So I'm going to de deliver this letter to the manager in here, and I think we're going to give them a week to respond. We want all of you to stay out here chaining us on as we go. When workers' rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! 